Hey guys, it's Jay here. Welcome back to Fire Pro Wrestling World's Fighting Road. And to be more specific, welcome back to the G1 Climax. We have three of our ten or so matches that we have to do in our first bracket down. Victorious in all three. My poor buddy Tanahashi, two losses. That's rough going. Makabe, two losses. Ibushi, two wins. Godo, two losses. Ishii, two losses. Oh, poor Yoshi, three losses. That's bad. Bad. Speaking of bad, bad luck fail. Two wins. Um, Takishi Lizuka with two wins. And of course, Naito. Oh, two wins and one loss. I was expecting three wins there. Okay, fair enough. Let's not look at the uh, B bracket because I want who I actually end up facing in the finals provided I get there, uh, to be a total surprise. So let's proceed to the next match. Who is my opponent going to be? Naito. Oh, because the Google machine told me it was Naito who actually won th this that, this particular G1 Climax, whichever one it is. I believe it's 27. The 2017 one, anyway. Uh, so, yeah, hopefully I'll put up a bit of a fight. I'd obviously noticed with the last episode that this is going to be shorter because there's no story breaks. It's just going to be two matches which I can get done in relatively quick time. So I can expect these episodes to be shorter, but I have some news. So it's very important you stick around to the end or, like, at least skip to the, the video until you get to about a minute or so left because there are some news. All right, Nido. Mr. Apparent Victor of this in real life. You get bumped on the head. Everyone gets bumped on the head. I think my moveset is just set in stone at this point. <laughs> and my strategy is also set in point. You know what? I think it's actually, it's kind of cool how they went for realism in regards to how the story progresses. You start off, you have to do an audition to get in, then you're a young lion, you have to work your way up the Young Lion ranks, then you win a Young Lions tournament, you go on your expedition, kind of find yourself on said expedition, and uh, then you return to New Japan Pro Wrestling, join a stable like so many people. Night out, knock to the outside. Come on, lad, you're supposed to be really, like, the winner. Come on. Take this body slam. So in terms of story, it's kind of cool, but I wish they almost went a 2K19 route with this because there's lots of wacky stuff in that career mainly Matt Hardy in the multiverse but then even stuff with the masked man the Wyatt zombie triple H like with all the stuff this game has it's cool that they have this big scenario and there are two more scenarios that are available via a DLC which I mistakenly said that the first one of the uh, junior heavyweight division one was going to be coming out in uh, December, but it's actually not. It's early next year it's coming out. So who knows? Who knows what what will happen with the, uh, the third scenario? Hopefully they go wacky. Like, you have all these colorful characters... Colorful? All these colorful characters from the SWA. You have all these wacky gimmicky matches. Go hell for leather with it, lads. Go nuts. Y use your custom characters. Like, have me fight a horde of actual zombies. Let me fight off the skeletons. Let me slay a dragon. Just go nuts with it, lads. So, not a knock on this particular story. This one, it's fine. For your first one, go for it. And you know what? If they do more, I don't know what their plan is with this franchise. Because, like, it's a basic game. Like, it's a basic game. It doesn't take up much hard drive space. There's no reason, no reason whatsoever why they couldn't go ahead and just keep this as the base game you buy and just constantly add into it. Like, I don't see why not. So that, that could be cool. You could get all these scenarios in. Uh, oh, come on, Betty. Oh, that's wonky. That's wonky. I'll take it, though. All right, that, that, I think the end is worth, yeah, five minute mark. Five Japanese minutes, Naito. Let's see how much this does. How many times will he say give up? It's two. Three. All right, only three. Didn't get a whole lot in it. So come on, come on, take it. Ah, oh, my fatality. <laughs> This is so wacky. There we go. See, that's one huge thing this game has. Awesome moves like that. Oh no, wait, get him from behind. Oh dear, I just, I, I went to go for my backdrop. Well, but I accidentally caught him in the front. Oh, I almost got him with that anyway. My first Pringles bomb of the match. Screw it, we're on, we're on to Pringles bomb. <laughs> We've popped, we can't stop. 
Oh, whoa, Naito, Naito, Naito in so much trouble. This third one should do it. Oh, it's a critical. He's done. He is done. You're finished, sir. Oh, poor guy. Look at his face. <laughs> oh, but what, did you just lose a match to Samara? That's the name of the girl from the ring, isn't it? Hang on, let me just... You alright there, lad? I wasn't bowing in respect, I was looking over him, just that screaming. <sighs> That's, oh. Oh my god, that like, you need the Metal Gear Solid 1 Solid Snake scream when he gets killed. Sound effect for that. Anyway, that's Naito. Defeated, new move, 600 points. Now I'm just gonna do some, let's just do some training and then we'll get on to our next match. And yup, still sitting pretty at 12.9%. So I'm expecting that percentage to jump up a fair bit once we finish this G1 Climax because, like, we've done a lot. Like, a lot of matches. And... Oh! Hang on a minute. Have I been waiting for the loading screen to come up, come up to see who my opponent is when their bloody name is in the top left-hand corner of the screen? Fair enough. Right, so it is going to be, um... Makabe. Jeez, I'm already forgetting. Yeah, so I'm going to go up against Makabe in this match. Poor, poor Makabe. I love you, man. Part of the main unit. Main unit represent. I don't watch a whole lot of New Japan Pro Wrestling, but main unit, they're my guys now. You know why? Because when I played this career mode, I joined their unit. So yeah, they're my guys now. That, that, that's how it works. You know what? I didn't have I, I didn't have the ability to watch professional wrestling regular when I started, like... My life, so I've always known about professional wrestling. I always was a big fan of it, but I could never watch it. So a lot of my main experience in my development years as a little baby was through video games, and that's where I'd become fans of people. So, and, I, and this is just history repeating itself. That the cycle of life continues on and on. I am now the main unit, are my favorite group. That that's it, because I, I saw them in the video games. It's like why Celtic are my favourite football team as well. <laughs> That's a story for another day, I won't get into it, but it involves the, the game FIFA. Don't ask me what year, they have one every year. I don't take note. Anyway, Makabe, my friend, my good friend, it, it, it has to be like this. Up you get, up you get. Where even am I in my... Oh, Makabe, he's trying to fight me, That's that's good. So, alright. I am playing this on normal difficulty when the next... Oh, nice counter. Very good. Very good. Come on. There we go. Now you take those uppercuts. So whenever I get around to doing the uh, junior heavyweight division storyline, I'll crank it up to hard because this is normal and, like, th that's it. The only way they get any offense in is when I'm a bit overzealous with my heavier attacks. So we'll just... <laughs> We'll crank up the difficulty for the next one. And you get Makabe. Also, I bottled my character creation at some point because I seem to be locked with the inability to climb the the ropes. Watch if I look and I fall. And that's just a permanent thing. That's just how life is for me. I can't climb three simple steps. Oh, no, we didn't. Oh, jackknife cover was not meant to be doing that. Wait, is oh wow, that was not yet. I would like to note that, uh, that I think that was the first spot I've called. I've just been rambling about Lord knows what for like 10 minutes now. Maybe try calling some of the wrestling that's going on. Here we go. A strong striking contest with Makabe. You don't stand a chance, lad. I'm sorry. Ah, dropkick puts him down. Very good. Elbow drop. Catch my breath. Come here. And, oh, another counter. Makabe putting up a fight. I like it. A little fight in you, I like that. Oh. Well, up you get. Ah, I still have this in the bag. I still have this in the bag. This is this is gonna be what my fifth win? Fifth win, five out of five. No, not that. Oh, I have to... Come on. No. Ah. Oh, I, I forgot. I I can do a suicide dive though. It's in there, I have it in me. But I've just forgotten. I think oh you I'm assuming you just run. I <laughs> have the ropes. Maybe try that. Yeah, I got those kicks in. I'm sorry, Makabe. I'm so sorry. And, oh, look at this. We're six Japanese minutes in. All right, time to choke you out, Makabe. All right, let's see. How many give-ups does he say? So that's how you know. The more give-ups he say, the more... Oh, barely got three in. Makabe putting up a good fight, but fatality. 
I killed you. You're dead. Excellent. I'm going to catch my breath here. Wait for him to get back up. Oh, he's stunned. He's stunned. Get him from behind. Get Ah, the bridging back suplex. I don't know what it is with me in this game. I beat one person with a move. And, like, all of a sudden I think that move's the best. Even something as simple as a back suplex. Get those stomps in. Four stomps. Nice. Up you get. Up you get. And, oh! Beautiful kick counter. That's what I like. Come on. More of that. Super kick! Oh! There we go. Some actual parallels between the, 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 the J of this Let's Play and the J of the 2K19. All I need is the bloody tiger bomb. I actually forgot I'd given myself the super kick. <laughs> Let's see it again. Let me, let me get it right now. Oh, super kick! There we go. Pick him up. You're finished, sir. That's it. Get that power bomb. Middle of the ring. Don't make me crit you, sir. Don't make me crit you. That's it. Hey. Up you get. Akabe. Thank you. We did it. <laughs> Doing it for the main unit, guys. Everyone put your hands up in the air. <laughs> oh, I'm such a dope. Totally forgot. I gave myself the super kick. Uh, anyway, that's more training points. We have to get a little bit more training done. And then that'll be it for this video. But we have an announcement to make. Right, guys. Anyway, that's it for this uh, video. Kind of the second video entirely dedicated to the G1 Climax Five matches in. I've won all five. Looking at the win losses of everyone else, I pretty much have this bracket in the bag. But anyway, on to the news. I did a little bit of perusing online, being the smart boy that I am. I was desperate to avoid spoilers, and thankfully I did. But I wanted to know what was up with the scenario progress, because it's been a running joke for nearly 20 episodes now. And I found out that, as you might have guessed, this game doesn't go on forever. You're not going to beat the game with 100%. Your wins and losses dictate the outcome of the story. So there's multiple ways you can go about it. So if you think about it, every match you do has a divergent path of when you win and when you lose. So you're actually going to get very little scenario progress through one entire playthrough. And an average number I saw was only 16%. So we're 12.9% through. When we're finished the G1 Climax, that's probably going to bump up a lot. And apparently around the 15-16% mark, depending on how my wins and losses go, we'll be done with this. So it's going to be done a lot sooner than I thought. But that's the plus side. I think it's early next year. You have the junior heavyweight scenario will be coming up. And... I'll be able to play through that. My big fear I had was I'd be spending like two years doing this. And then, oh, hey, now that that's done, spend another two years on the, the junior heavyweight. No, it's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. We're going to get this done and we'll move on to the junior heavyweight um, story. The third scenario hasn't been announced yet from what I've seen, so I don't know what that's about. There is also a GM mode. That, I was going to say, don't quote me on that. You can quote me on that. There will be a GM mode. But in terms of me doing GM mode content on this channel... Uh, don't quote me on that because I want to get it first, get the season pass for this first, get that GM mode, and actually do a little trial run with it to see. I don't I want to wing it first off doing this, you know, making videos, unless you'd like to see that, but I just embarrass myself and it'd just be a whole mess and we'd have to start again. Who knows? Anyway, we'll see. That's it for this video, guys. So, yeah, th we should be wrapping up this soon. Before the end of the year, I doubt it, but early next year, we will have this Fighting Road scenario completed. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new, turn on the notifications bell, follow me on Twitter, link to that will be in the description, and it is uh, more Spider-Man tomorrow. So, I'll see you then, guys. Cheers!